have a condenser fan not turning. Yuck. On this lovely rainy day here on the eastern shore of Maryland. this all the time I don't mind getting wet but I don't like my tools getting wet so first thing we do when we walk up on a condenser fan not turning we'll see if it spins and that actually spins free so let's get this panel opened up and see what's going on all right first observations everything is intact and the compressor did start. So if our capacitor's bad, it's not fully bad. But that is the first thing we're gonna check now that we have the power off. We're gonna pull our wires off of here. Oh. Discharge it first. Discharge, discharge, okay. Let's pull our wires off. And then our fan side. Let's get our meter and test this. It's a 70 by five. All right, let's test the fan side first because that's the side that was not working. So we're going between common and fan. And we have five. Now let's go between common and herm just for shoots and giggles. And we have 68, okay. So that is a good capacitor. So we have another issue here if we have the proper voltage because the next thing we want to check is that defrost board right there even though we're running in air conditioning mode the fan wire goes through that board and I've seen the boards fail before where it does not send a signal to the fan so one side our brown wire to our fan goes from our capacitor. Our yellow wire actually comes from down here, the bottom of the contactor, and our black wire comes from that relay right there. So if we got it hooked back up, let's restore power and check voltage. And son of a bitch, the fan came on once we restored power. That sucks. I mean, I'm glad the air conditioning is working now, but it sucks because we did not get to the bottom of this issue. All right, I've disconnected control voltage to it from that plug right there. And I'm gonna let it stay off for a few minutes and we're gonna try it again and see what happens. All right, so I've had it off and on several times. I uh, turned it off from control voltage, turned it off from disconnecting the power, contactor pulling in and out, shook wires. I can't get it to stop again. And I have the proper voltage, 241 volts going to the fan. Something happened. I just don't know what. sucks when this happens because you don't know what to do from here you don't want to just say yeah we'll get a new board for it or might as well get a new motor for it or something like that because <laughs> you, you don't know if that's the issue so that was three weeks ago customer called back and said it he just got back from out of town it's not cooling down again we got the motor and the board. We're going over there, whatever it is, we're gonna replace it. Let's go. All right. No fan. Try to do this before it comes out. Or starts to go the bypass. Okay, I have 240 going into the relay. Nothing coming out. So sorry I couldn't get that on there, guys. I don't wanna tear anything up or put it into thermal lockout but what's happening here is our relay is not closing fully to let the proper voltage through so we have it coming in 
to the relay from the contactor. It's not coming back out though. The way I tested that was, this is one side of our fan. This is the other side of our 240 volts. I tested between here and here, did not get 240 volts. Tested between here and here and did. So that means this relay is not closing. That board's the problem. It's a pretty straightforward repair here, guys. We have this guy coming. This guy coming from our our contactor, and then this guy goes to our motor. Then we have a series of plugs here. This guy. And then this is our defrost sensor, and then this is our pressure switch. We have one screw here. And this guy will come right off. New board here. Same, I guess. It just looks a little different. Yeah, they're the same. That relay is a little bit different, but whatever. We're gonna put our control voltage back on. Right there. This is our contactor, among other things, and reversing valve. Our low pressure switch, which is actually also goes to the contactor. And then this is our defrost thermostat. Coming from our contactor and then going to our motor. Let's just double check our work. That looks good. Let's turn it back on. Make sure nothing's on the fan. Voila. There we have it, guys. That one frustrated me last time. But like I said, I just don't want to start throwing parts at it. Not bad. You did call us for nine or ten degrees of self cooling. Yeah, guys i was not risking another call back there so i got both parts and just went there whichever one was bad i was going to change if i had to change both of them both of them would have got changed but all right guys that's it for this one don't forget to like and subscribe we'll catch you on the next one